Alrighty guys, so it is the next day. We went and dropped off the trailer the other night and sold it, but back in the shop and back on Papaw. Now, just want to let you guys know, and maybe there's a video coming out on it sooner, maybe there's not, but the cat eye, a part is ordered that will make the cat eye run, I promise. I promise cat eye content's coming. But today, we're going to go over the damage that was done to good old Papaw here. If you guys remember back on Christmas, we gave you guys the Christmas video and we had uh, a little bit of a fire here on Papaw. Hey, 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 we got, we got, we got, we got. Watch out, stop, 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 stop. It's the rotor, it's under there. Come under here where I am, over here, and shoot down under. We're good. <laughs> we're good. So, what we're gonna do today is I've got new rotor, new caliper, new pads. I'm gonna pull <laughs> pull the wheel tire off here and look at how bad it is. Um, I'm sure it looks a little bit crispy and I'm hoping the brake line is okay because I didn't grab a brake line, but we did drive it and it looked like it wasn't leaking or anything, but we'll find out here in just a minute once I pull off this tire. <laughs> Yeah, so she definitely is a little bit crispy. You know, I'm impressed the brake line, I'm gonna clean it off, but the brake line actually doesn't look like it's, it's messed up, but that rotor is gone. And the, cal the caliper's locked up too. We drove it the other day and uh, you can't roll it. It's, it's locked up pretty good. It'll drive because it'll push through it, but it's, it's completely locked up. And once you get past all of the daggum fire extinguisher powder and crap in here, uh, you can tell that it's pretty crispy. So I'm going to pull off this caliper, pull off this rotor, and hopefully the inside where the parking brake's at is not destroyed too, but it might be. Wow! Wow! Oh, yeah, so uh, we got the bolts out of there. I'm gonna, I won't need a pry bar to get this caliper up off of here. It, it is definitely locked to it pretty good. Small, medium, or large? Pretty large. That is a crispy caliper. Oh my gosh! Look, look at that. Can you guys see these pads? Holy crap. Let me see if I can get this pad out a little bit differently. Guys, look at that. The brake pad literally like melted right here on the inside. Good lord. <laughs> that one's ate up pretty good too. Yeah, that rotor. She is gone, gone, gone. Oh yeah, that is a crispy, crispy caliper. Alrighty, no worries. We'll take the. We'll see if I can get this rotor off. It's going to be the. Uh, I think it'll. I think it'll slide right off. No, I don't think so. That was surprising. We got it. Sweet. So that wasn't locked. My fear was that. This had the screw was so far out on the parking brake that it ended up burning this and locking it in here. Um, but I could smell brake fluid in here, and that's what I think that that was our fire. That's why that's why we couldn't put it out because we we're having a fire in there. But awesome. So, all right, well, it's not too too bad yet. Uh, let me grab the new caliper. Well, you guys can come over here and see. We got. Brand new caliper. Nice, pretty caliper. We even got the ceramic Wagner pads. Put treating all pap all nice out here. Brand new rotor, and uh, just fixing the one side. We might do the other side. I mean, the pads actually didn't look like they were really old. If it's the same on the other side, but I guess I'll take a look and see and see, but. Uh, that, if Chris was here, he would tell you that's a lot of damage. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and put these new caliper, new caliper back on. Oh, 
old rotor, new rotor. <laughs> Which, if you guys could feel that, you would feel how awful that really feels. But the uh, the rotor definitely wasn't the casualty. It was the caliper that was the casualty here. This thing, yeah. I mean, I can, I can. Oh my lord! It even melted the the piston in it. It's got. It's pretty messed up. It's pretty good. Get my little Milwaukee. Take that screw out. Get the new one bolted on. God damn it, Jimmy! <sighs> Alrighty, guys. Out with the old, in with the new. Papa's got himself a brand new caliper and rotor here. Gonna bleed the brakes. Um, while I'm right here, I'm gonna get this off. It's the rest of the tailpipe because you know we cut the exhaust off of it in the, the other video. So get that off of there, and I'll uh, put the wheel back on it. I think that tire needs some air, and uh, make sure that it rolls right. Wait with ducks in. Alrighty, gentlemen. Get the tire put back on in here, and then we can fire that old 6.0 up and make sure she rolls freely now. You know, let me tell y'all something. I'm glad that Austin and I decided to keep this truck, because this is a good old truck. I'm telling you. And it's got a 6.0, so why wouldn't we want it? So that gives us two 6.0 trucks, one 5.3 truck, and then one Duramax. That's a good That's a good lineup. But the stop's great, runs great. Um, little old change on it, so she's all freshened up there. So we're going to do a lot to this one. Um, a lot of modifications that you guys like to see, headers, intake. We're going to tune it. Uh, some of you guys have asked for a more in-depth video of the Diablo, and we'll do it on this truck. And eventually, we will pull... The motor's got a ton of miles on it. We will not just slide a cam up in it. Um, here in a couple or a few months, we'll probably pull the 6.0 out and rebuild it. Nothing crazy, just a cam, maybe flat tops, and uh, as cast heads. So, and then maybe re gearing in a torque converter. We oh, we do have a little surprise on the rear end coming later this week. We got somebody coming down to help us with something uh, to make the burnouts a little more worthwhile here with Papaw. So, appreciate you guys watching. I know some of you guys mentioned about the damage done to the brakes on the truck, and it was pretty bad. So, don't catch your brakes on fire. You know, we crimped the line, but obviously, we didn't crimp it hard enough because it's, it was still grabbing the rotor and caught it on fire so appreciate you guys watching as always remember the cat eye is coming back waiting on the part uh, i'm going to shoot texas speed an email and see when it ships out so i'll have more of a, a better set in stone date in mind but don't forget to hit that subscribe button go follow me over on instagram at austin04 underscore z71 take care have a great day